but they did not have JoJo Lacey available. They had her in the second game. JoJo has the ball, and they only lost by two. They led for most of that game in Chestnut Hill. Wagner, Dontavia Wagner, who made it to the all-defensive team, got the rebound. Todd again. Got it. Keep shooting, Tiana Todd. For most of that shot clock. There's Cochran, puts it up and in. And I think getting Olivia Cochran touches before the game today, just talking here in the arena. I, I could see that. A little too reminiscing. Jefferson. Matchup against Notre Dame. But right away, good job of shifting the zone defense, finding the open shooter in the corner and knocking it down. And then for them to get used to the grind of playing in the ACC. Marissa, Marissa. Marissa Russell gets the basket. Here's the cards. Now Jefferson. And Dontavia Wagner shows you her elite defensive work. Defensive end of the floor. Blocking the shot. She's undersized on the interior, but plays with so much defensive energy and activity. A good defensive play by Cochran during that time frame. So give. Coach Mack, a ton of credit. She kept this team together. They enjoy each other. They like each other, and they're playing their best basketball. JoJo Lacey gets two. In the game, she's a Cal transfer. Shot clock winding down. Wagner noticed it and went right to that rim. And Paisa Berry has been so good. Transfer from Utah and the face-up of attacking the rim. Sigari, who is from Salt Lake, played a freshman year at Utah. Harris sticks with it. Harris. for Sidbury. Todd picked up the ball and put it in. Yes. Sidbury. That's, that's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> Austin College with the 11-9 lead over Louisville. That shot. Her, her freshman year at NC State. And 0 for 2 on that trip. Istanbulolu is in, number 11 in white. There she is, freshman out of Turkey. She will shoot it from there. Looks like she has a toe on the line, perhaps, but it's called a three, at least for now. Make sure we force this defense to shift. And they've done a really good job of doing that. Istanbulolu, that's 19%. Now hit her fifth one. Wagner left open and makes some pay. Keep her away from the rim, off the free throw line. Well, that's where she can do the most damage. Curry liked that shot for a reason. Different look on the perimeter, somebody that you have to check. And here, the ball getting to the ACC logo, which is critical again. Defended out there by Todd. Now the switch. So he puts it up and in. Do all the things well in addition to just scoring the basketball. And she was first team All Atlantic 10 last year, led them in threes. Todd turning into a three point shooter herself this weekend in Greensboro. But it's an adjustment for these players. Jefferson, another one. She went to JMU. And coach told us that Kiki Jefferson only played, kicked it, was able to recover. Now they need a shot. Daly elevates. Nobody checked Wagner. And don't take your Wagner's don't activity level. Just Wagner. makes her undersized at six feet, but gets a lot done. Another three, yes! <laughs> Kiki Jefferson, Jefferson with her second three of the game. I mean, the Cardinals just doing a great job of moving the basketball. It's taken and making their open <laughs> shot. Taylor steps around. Wagner! Biggest lead of the game for Louisville. They are up five. Left open on the perimeter for three. The shot falls off the rim for Sidbury, but it's Wagner. Dante no surprise, Wagner. right? Dante yeah. Wagner. But after they've made so many, they become three-point shooters. Runner off the line, and she knocks down the pull-up. Nice move by Harris to spin around the defense. Jefferson found Harris. 
Great look in transition. Kiki Jefferson, nice little drop off. Pushing in transition. And Louisville is very selective in terms of when they choose to run and when they don't. That's a great finish by Sid Berry. Just shooting 37% from the floor, not taking advantage of turnovers. Well, they forced eight turnovers in the ball game. Dontavia Wagner gets two going Dante to the rim. Wagner. Only have four points off of those turnovers. There she is. And they like this matchup. Dontavia Wagner facing up against Olivia Cochran. Sid Berry tried to get the reverse layup, but that wouldn't work. Todd all the way across court. Nobody is guarding Sid Berry. Three. She's got nine Sidbury. points. And this is just good offensive execution. There's a almost an over rotation. I don't feel like Marissa Russell was beat one on. We will have Notre Dame against the winner of this game tomorrow. That's a nice move for Ricard to struggle at times in the first half, especially with turnovers last year. And this is what Nina Ricard can do. She can get downhill. She hasn't been as a missed that one. And outside of transition against Benson yesterday, the other area that I felt like Boston College was good is Nyla Harris goes to work inside, was, was sharing the basketball. Attack of the rim by Sidbury, second chance, got it. Coach Mack used the quote, how you do anything is how you'll do everything. That's why she's the best fit with this group. That's a lot going on. Did she say pre-med and political science? Uh, yes. And, oh uh, and elephants in oh Thailand. Oh, my goodness. That's impressive. Sid Berry got her shot blocked that time by Cochran. Sid Berry spent her freshman year at Utah, transferred over to Boston College, which is a challenging academic school. So, obviously, she's a young lady who likes yes. challenges. Absolutely. The stand below Lou in as well for Louisville. Blocked from behind by Wagner. Winding down, calling for the ball. Throws it up off the glass, Pam! Todd on the other end with the finish. The Jada Curry. Right. But, and, but BC hasn't been able to take advantage when they turn Louisville over. They haven't been able to score it. Sid Berry there continues to go to work. Right now, Sidbury. she's the one. She's yes. the source of offense. Two feet, particularly in transition. Oh, that went in and out, but Wagner, the rebounding machine, gets the putback. Sidbury, careless pass, but it's rescued by Ivy. Shot clock winding down now inside. Sidbury, that's a nice dish from Daly. Winner gets Notre Dame tomorrow morning. Ricard breaks the drought with the shot clock about to expire. And remember the last matchup between these two teams came down to a shot by Nino Ricard to win it. Ricard has been quiet, but she's been picking it up in this second half. DC led for most of the game. Sidbury finishes with her left hand. Yes, she's hit 20 points for the second straight game. Who is averaging about five steals per game, just under right now at 4.9. Great inbound oh, to yeah. Cochran from the cards. I mean, she just does a great job of stealing for a position. There's nobody on the weak side. And gets a finish, but the way she was running. Ivy picked up her dribble. Terrific cut to the bucket by Lacey. Lacey has some of those looks when they can get one four high. Inside, Harris. Second chance, no. Nope. Third chance, no. Nope. Ricards puts it up. It's been rather quiet after getting off to another great start. Sid Berry found the lane and hit it. And it's been Sid Berry on the offensive end. Being Georgia Amore. So that's the big question of this tournament. And the NCAA tournament is Liz Kittler, who's such a fantastic player. That's a good inbounds for Daly. But you can sense Louisville a little bit more aggressive offensively as well. Todd hits the three! This is just terrific offensive execution. The extra pass brings the middle of the zone. 
You're BC, you want to make sure you take care of the ball. Give yourself an opportunity. I love Nyla Harris on the top of this press. Sid Berry. Got it stolen. Harris converts. The press works. Ricards with the drive. And picked up by Nyla Harris, who sends it home. Ivy needs to heave it. And Curry might have gotten a hand on it. And what a comeback. For the Louisville Cardinals, they scored the last six points of the game, and they hold 